Now, let me start talking about the proof of this implication. This proof is due to Peter Sanak. And this proof is taken from Tao's blog. The key idea of the proof is the following. You try to translate the statements of those two characters into the language of probability. So how does this translation go? Let's first look at Sana's conjecture. Look at this equation. Most people will just see this as an equation in calculus. It's like an estimate of a sum. But smart mathematicians will view this in another way. If you look at this sum, maybe we can make it into an average. What we do is that we're going to divide both sides by x. So the right hand side here will be little of 1. And what is average? Average in probability theory is expectation. So when x is large, this will be approximately which is the expectation of a random variable when you equip this variable n, this integer n, with randomness. What we are doing here is that we let n uniformly, randomly drawn from the set of integers from 1 to the floor of x. In this way, we have transformed Sana's conjecture into the language of probability. And now what about Charles' conjecture? What is Charles' conjecture in the language of probability? This might be hard to explain in just a few words, but I can tell you that this sum corresponds to the higher moments in probability theory. And I will show you what this means in the proof. And you may wonder what the benefit is for us to translate the statement in the language of probability. That is because in probability theory, there are a lot of tools for us to use. There are good concentration inequalities, Markov's inequality, Chebyshev's inequality, and many others. And those tools will turn out to be very helpful in the proof. And I must mention that the proof for this implication does not use any number theoretical property of the mobile function mu. 
Actually, you don't even have to assume this mu is Mobius function in order to get this implication. You only need to assume the mu is a function from the set of natural numbers. to the set of three integers, negative one, zero, and one. So no need to assume mu is mobius. In my opinion, this is the true beauty of this proof. Should Charles connector fail for mobius function, we may still conjecture it it is true for some other type of functions. And once that is true, we get an analog to the standard conjecture as well for that corresponding function. As long as this function is from natural numbers to negative one, zero, one.